an absolutely glorious Saturday morning, best day we've had since we've been here. So we're gonna to go to the beach, Pirita Beach. It's about 7K east of the city. So we're gonna walk there. Take a nice, uh, long, slow walk across the, uh, along the promenade, should be good. There's the Hotel Viru again, the one that it was the first uh, hotel built for foreign tourists, I think in 1972. And the KGB had a special headquarters at the top because every room was bugged. Lee spotted a sign saying there's a roomy supermarket inside and I need a quick loo break so we're going to go into Nautica. We've got a park mini golf. Wow, I have never seen one of those in a shopping centre before. There's that sign. Let's just follow it round. Kanna burger, chicken burger 7. And it's only they use this system of differentiating. So we're just heading out of Nautica, having been to Rumi. Got our lunch sorted. Ooh -hoo. Bacon and chicken sandwiches, 185 each. Probably about the cheapest lunch you can get in. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Where the ferries leave for Finland and other places. I saw a sign for Stockholm and yeah, but apparently you Finnish people like coming over for the weekend, buying like cheaper things over get here. Shopping, get the booze. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Oh look at that puppy! Oh my word, he's so cute. And it's this. Uh, it looks like origami. Oh, it's an origami boat. Or, or a paper hat. Yeah, oh, see, I'd go with hat actually, you're right, but Argentina restaurant. So behind Nautica, they've got these beautiful old stone buildings that have been turned into trendy restaurants and shops. The system for like bicycles and scooters and pavement for pedestrians is excellent and really well developed. I know a few people like that. Super alco. Ah, oh, some little bouldering balls. For the kiddies, I'm assuming, and oh, it's a playground for the adults as well, isn't it? Do you think you can manage to get up there, Lee? Uh, I'm not <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, and you've got this art display thing. It's all pretty cool. So you've got the ferry in the background. Massive ferry. This designed in collaboration with the Department of Graphic Designs at the Estonian Academy of Art. Some more of the paper boats slash paper hats. And how lovely you've got benches if you want to sit down and this is already cool. Oh submarines in Tallinn. One of the ferries is just coming in, a Talink shuttle. Here we have a, I'm not too sure, some sort of running track. Yeah. But around corners, fancy a quick 100 meter dash, maybe? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, thank you, maybe another day. And look at this, you've got free um, binoculars to look through. You might just have a swizz. So, what can you see, my darling? Lots of yachts on the water. I don't know if there's some kind of regatta on or it's just. Saturday morning, beautiful day for it. Can't be no good old compass, can you? Ah. 360 degrees due north, straight down there. And as you can see, but there's some slightly unpleasant looking green sludge in the green water. I'm thinking if that's the algae we were told about, the reason as to why the beaches are closed for swimming. This is so cool, there's some more benches along here and... Is it for exercise or is it for just lying down? I don't know. You in a hammock? Exercise, hammocks, stretching out. This kid up here seems to think it's for climbing on, which looks like fun. It's so pretty, we've got trees and grass over that way and the sea this way. So there are these brilliant um, displays and there's English as well. So Esti Meravagi. Oh, Estonian Navy, 1918 to 1940. You can read all about it. And you're in a museum. This is brilliant, it's like right beside the sea. Test your knowledge. Oh, Estonian. Which country? UK. Yeah. Okay, that. Correct. Yay! 
So here we are down at the beach, the small beach, I know. And it's so cool, like people are lying in amongst the vegetation. Hoping to find some shade under one of these trees up here to have our picnic. So we found a lovely spot under one of the beautiful to show maybe willow trees. These wonderful wooden seats. All ready for the picnic. So this is a very Slavic sandwich. Bacon sandwich, yeah, nice amount of bacon, but it's got pickle as well. Some gherkins. Chocolate biscuits, can't really see it because of the light. And I've got a new friend. Look at him, he's gorgeous. He doesn't seem to realise that chocolate biscuits are very bad for dogs, so we're just going to look away and just I hope the poor boy gets a message. So cute, he's tiny! Now our place is beach, on the way to Kirita. Beautiful, sunny Saturday morning. I'm not too sure what the statue is of. Quite beautiful, like an angel with a Greek Ortho sorry, Russian Orthodox cross. Well, an Orthodox cross anyway. This is the first food vendor I've seen at the beach. Zumburger. Very popular. It looks as though it's between five and seven for a hamburger. Four for fries. Please we bought our sandwiches from Remy. And for those wanting to be more active, here's the sub rental. 15 euros, got your wetsuit. I mean, it's nice conditions for it. And what is a beachside destination without workout equipment? That all looks very new and well put together. Oh, I love the swings. That is so cool. The wooden aspect. The wooden thing at the top so they can't do kirking, you know? Where ah, go. yes, but that's for the... Um, a solid bar. Um, bar. bar answer, yeah. yeah, whereas these are... That. I wonder where they do that. I don't know. Check it out. An interesting Estonian yeah, Past swing time. thing. Yeah, <laughs> swing 360 degrees around the fulcrum. Oh my that word. Would be worth seeing. That would be terrifying. I'd love to see you do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't happening. No, no, no. No. The obelisk on the right was originally built to mark the Russian soldiers who'd fallen in the war in 1918. Uh, which was quite contentious when it was erected because they were fighting against Estonian soldiers at the time and apparently the graves etc of the Estonian soldiers were torn up to make way for this Russian monument put up in I think 1960s but the plaza to the left was for was erected in 1972 for Soviet soldiers who died in the war against Nazi Germany. Nowadays it's marked on maps.me as a memorial to the victims of communism. I just wish um, I could share with you how awful the water smells here. I don't know if this is like a sewage outlet or something but it really does not smell very nice. Not often you see ducks in the sea or on the beach and over there in the distance is a swan as well. I thought they only like fresh water. Please just inform me this is a spa. Well, the okay accommodation attached to the spa. Oh, yeah, there's the towels out. It looks very Soviet style. Marina Hotel and Spa. Look at that rather wonderful piece of brutalist architecture above it. it. Goes all the way down to there. Remembering that this was all built for the 1980s Moscow Olympic sailing events were held here in Pirita. So we've walked around the harbour. Now we're crossing the bridge and heading to Pirita Beach. So we're just gonna walk this way through the pine forest. And now we've come down to the beach. Oh my word. It's a proper beach, it's glorious. So there are quite a few people swimming, which surprises me because we had read about this algae stuff but yeah it's lovely 
I don't know if there's some sort of sailing regatta on or something because of the yachts. Number of yachts out there. This is what Perry to Beach looks like on a lovely summer's day. Plenty of people enjoying the sunshine. One of the things I love about Pirita Beach is like you've got the pine forests. You've got, okay, some rusty exercise equipment, but here's some new stuff, which is pretty cool. It's a hut up there, and apparently there are loos up that way. And also, like, over here in this corner, you've got volleyball courts. There's quite a few. There's a table over in the distance where you've got the old boys. You know, they're in there. They're all in the speedos. They've been sitting there since we've been here, so maybe, I don't know, four hours? We come round and you've got that beautiful beach. I'm like, look at that. It's so, so pretty. And it comes round with this shade by the water's edge. I've been sitting under one of these trees. And it's just been glorious. I mean, you'd never think that this is the Baltic Sea. You know, we're just across the water from Finland, a couple of hours away by boat. And yeah, it's either, I can't remember, 57 or 59 degrees north. So here we have this side of, I'm assuming, St. Patrick's. I'm not too sure what that lookout is up there. Maybe it was something to do with the 1980 Olympics. I'm really not too sure. Either the Coast Guard or the KGB, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, that's really good posting. So a lovely afternoon at the beach. It's now 20 to 6. It's all very warm. If you can see the sun there, it's from like Vigri Kovic. And here you've got the seats, sort of all been set up for the Olympics, 1980. The spectators to watch the sailing events, etc. I noticed this the first time we came to Perita, but didn't have a look. It's the Perita Cloister. Lovely. 1417 to 1577. Oh my word. This place is, it's incredible. So we're walking back from Pirita Beach and we've come to the memorial to victims of communism. So it's in two parts. We must leave the home garden and go around to the journey. Memorial at Majamai to victims of communism is dedicated to all Estonian people who suffered under the terror inflicted by the Soviet Union. The communist terror regime began with the occupation of Estonia on the 17th of June 1940 and ended with the restoration of Estonia's independence on the 20th of August 1991. Estonia lost one in every five persons from its population of slightly over one million as a consequence of the occupying regime's terror policy. Of these victims, more than 75,000 were murdered, imprisoned or deported. The names of over 22,000 people who never returned home are inscribed on this memorial. The Estonian people and the Estonian state have established this memorial in 2018 in memory of Estonia's victims of communism. We shall never forget you. So you come through the tunnel the journey and here's the garden with the apple trees. Wow, it's quite beautiful. On this side of the home garden is the wall of honeybees. 22,000 figurines of honeybees here to mark the people lost some are in clusters. 
It's just such a beautiful way to, to remember the lives lost. This memorial, it's, it's so well done. From the journey and the home garden and this wall here which is the names of officers who died when the Soviets took over. It's very touching, haunting. It's stark sculpture. Not too sure exactly what it's be but it looks tormented. We're back there to the new part of town and the old town. We have the obelisk and they call this pit up here like a plaza seating area that is now quite overgrown and run down and there's the sea in the distance. So I think the sign is slightly concerning. I don't think the sign carries much weight. Most people come down here and hang out in the afternoon and watch the sunset. Let's go and have a look. I wonder what that sculpture, this thing is over here, maybe to do with the Olympics? I mean, we walked under it on our way to Perita. Hmm. If you know, please let us know. Because I really can't work out what it is and there were no signs at all.